Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle. I review fragrances and if you are a returning subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your constant support. It means the world to me. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you enjoy my content and you consider subscribing. That way you will help me grow my channel. So today I want to talk about all things layering and I want to share with you my favorite layering combos. So if you are interested, stay tuned. So let's get started with what is layering. So basically layering is as intuitive as it sounds, is mixing fragrances, usually two or more. I prefer to stick to two and no more than two, but it could be two perfumes. It could be a perfume and a body oil, a perfume and a body lotion that completely up to you. There's no rules here. This is just a suggest, uh, suggestion. It's my personal opinion, my personal experience, and that's it. There's no rules here. Actually, you will need mix and match, play, switch around and, you know, experiment with the different fragrances because we all have different chemistry, we all have different skin, we all have different tastes and what might work for me might not work for you. So this is just uh, a guide, okay? So there are many reasons why you may want to layer. The first reason is because you want to create something unique. You don't want to smell like anybody else. And I want to share with you a perfect combo. I think this is a combo made in heaven because they, they are perfect for each other. And I'm talking about both uh, two Creed fragrances, which is Aventus for her and Virgin Island Water. This is really a match made in heaven because Aventus, this is Aventus. Aventus is fruity, is woody, is fresh, is musky, while Virgin Island Water is more beachy. It has that coconutty scent. It's, it's very, very beachy. It's marine, it's ozonic. It has that type of um, scent and lotion vibes, which I think Aventus complements excellent because Aventus has uh, some citruses like bergamot and lemon that balances out the strong coconut smell you have here. So together, a match made in heaven. Highly, highly recommend these two. So the second reason why you may want to layer is when you want to fill in the gap or when you want to add a note. For example, you have, let's say you have a perfect fragrance that you love. I'm gonna play with my own example, which is uh, Kayali Deja Vu. This is a floral, a heavy white floral fragrance, absolutely exquisite in my opinion. It has jasmine, it has tuberose, it has gardenia, my favorite flower, but it also has patchouli. On the other hand, we have Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain, my favorite, my favorite fragrance, especially for spring and summer. This is also heavy on white flowers, has a lot of uh, gardenia, very, very strong. It's creamy, it's almost like tonic. Has two rows, of course. But the thing is, this is a very beachy fragrance. It has a coconut smell, which is, I wouldn't say it's very, very strong as it is in, in, in Crete Virgin Island water, but still, it's, it's pretty strong. Those are, both are white florals, but guess what? This is beachy, this is not. This has coconut, this has patchouli. So together, it's also much made in heaven because the terracotta, it's beautiful, but it's a very beachy fragrance, as I said. When you add the patchouli to this, you will make this fragrance more wearable and more versatile, and you will be able to pull this off all year round because otherwise, Although I use it every time because I love it, but it's more a spring summer type of fragrance. But when you add the patchouli to this combo, as I said, it, it converts this typical beachy fragrance into an all year round. So you will still smell that gardenia, you will still smell that white flowers, but it won't be as beachy as it is on its own. So I highly recommend this too, since uh, Kayale is stronger than this one, at least on my skin. I will recommend always to spray first the, yeah, the heaviest one, the heavy heater. This is not a heavy heater, but it's stronger than this one, probably because of the patchouli, the composition. So this one first, this one on top, and you're good to go. Amazing, amazing combo. 
So the other reason why you may want to layer is to prolong the staying power or lasting power of your favorite fragrance, which in my case, for example, is Santel Complet. I love Santel Complet. Unfortunately, it doesn't last as long as I would like it to last, but it, the scent is so, so divine that I, I was really upset because I was thinking, mm, maybe it's not worth because this is an niche fragrance, it's not cheap. The scent is divine, but I was wondering maybe it's not worth uh, buying a new bottle. But, 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 there's always a but, but in this case, a very positive one. I realized I discovered uh, the Bum Bum Cream mixed together with this one. It's also a matcha. caramel um, vanilla pistachio type of cream, which is not really similar to Santal Complet, which is a perfect coconut sandalwood combo. But together, after 15, 20 minutes, this will prolong the lasting power of Santal Complet like 10 times, and it won't compromise this beautiful scent DNA. It's absolutely divine. Don't go too heavy on this, just apply it, you know, generously all over your body, but thin layers, okay? Then you spray Santal Complete on top and let the magic happen. After 15, 20 minutes, you won't be able to tell them apart. You will only smell Santal Complete. It seems that the notes here blend like so well, so well with Santal Complete that it, it seems like it's just one fragrance. And thanks to this trick, uh, I will probably repurchase this beauty because it's, it's a stunning fragrance. Another match made in heaven. So another mega combo I want to share with you is Vanilla 28 with Molecule 01. So the other reason why you may want to layer is actually for balance, when you're looking for a balance. For example, we have a super sweet, extremely gourmand, this is one of the best vanillas I, I smell. It's uh, Vanilla 28 by Cayelle, as I said, by Huda Beauty actually. And it's, it's amazing, it's a super gourmand, super sweet, super, Ambery. They have they added brown sugar here, so that I think that note makes this vanilla slightly darker and more caramelized, if it makes sense. But sometimes you can think that, well, maybe it's too sweet for this occasion, or maybe it's too sweet for early in the morning, and you want to balance that sweetness, right? So in that case, if you add something like Molecule 01, it's amazing because this is very airy, it's woody, it's sheer. And the thing is that you won't smell anything. I talked about this fragrance before. This is a fragrance that has been created to work with your chemistry. This is actually not a fragrance. This is actually a molecule called ISO E Super. And this is the molecule that the perfume, not a perfume by Juliette Hassagan has. It's not really a molecule. In fact, this is by Eccentric Molecules. Eccentric mo Molecules is the house and they release their fragrances in pairs. For example, they release Molecule 01 and they have the counterpart Eccentric 01. They release Molecule 02, Eccentric 02, Molecule 03, Eccentric 03, and so on and so forth. So uh, I want to make this explanation because they are totally different. One thing is Molecule 01 and another different thing is Eccentric 01 because Eccentric 01 is a fragrance that uses Molecule 01, which is Isley Super in the composition. Well, Molecule 01 is just a molecule, okay? So now we are talking about just the molecule. Iso is super in a bottle. So when you add this to any fragrance, you will be able to catch whiffs of this throughout the day. You won't smell it anymore. After a few seconds, it disappears. I was very upset when I first bought it, but then I learned how it works. And being able to catch whiffs throughout the day myself reinforced the theory that this really works with your skin chemistry. It's an amazing fragrance. And together, let me tell you, much made in heaven because this beauty will balance out this other beauty because this is an amazing vanilla, but it is a bit heady. It can be heady because it's gourmand. It's, you want to, it's almost edible, it's delicious. But sometimes you want to wear vanilla, but maybe it's too early in the morning, right? Or maybe, I don't know, it depends on the occasion. Maybe it's not perfect for a specific event or for a specific occasion. So this way you will have the best of both worlds because you will have your vanilla, you will still be able to smell your delicious vanilla, but it will be completely subdued. It will be completely toned down by molecule 01. So this is 
a combo that I highly, highly recommend. So another combo I want to share with you, it's a combo I've discovered and has been a game changer, which is Baccarat Rouge with this Attar oil by Swiss Arabian called Private Mask. Let me tell you, Baccarat Rouge is an amazing fragrance. It's not my favorite, but it's a great fragrance. It's no longer anything exclusive because everybody and their mother has it. And for every reason, because when it was uh, launched, it was really groundbreaking. Now everybody has it, plus all the dupes we have in the market. It's no longer exclusive. However, that doesn't mean the fragrance is not great, right? It's a great fragrance. I have to give credit and kudos to Mr. Francis Gorjan because he created really a masterpiece. Now, this fragrance doesn't like me. I like her, but she doesn't like me or my skin. So it doesn't last. And it's not like the hide and seek game, like in the example of Molecule One. This does a hide and seek game and I catch whiffs of it like throughout the day. It doesn't happen the same with Baccarat Rouge, plus nobody around me seems to smell it. So it really doesn't last on my skin. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is 100% legit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like the fragrance. It's not my favorite, but I like it. And now I think I like it even more because with this discovery, it really prolongs the lasting power 10, 20 times. This is by Swiss Arabian, they call it Attar Oils. This is Parfum in its purest form. This is totally, totally concentrated. It hasn't been diluted. This is what usually we get in larger bottles that completely watered down and diluted. So this is Parfum in its purest form. So it comes in an oil. It's an oil, in an oil form. It has an a glass applicator, which I love. Or you can use a roll-on. It also comes with a roll-on. So here's the thing, it is so similar to Baccarat. I wouldn't say it's a dupe. I am super picky when it comes to, you know, notes. So I, it has to be identical for me to say it's a dupe. It's not identical, but it's so similar, you wouldn't believe. And this one, as I said, with the Santal Complete and the Bam Bam Cream, this won't affect the, uh, the precious DNA that Baccarat Rouge is famous for. It's amazing. This actually has cotton candy in the composition. Well, Baccarat Rouge, everybody's comparing to cotton candy, but it doesn't have a cotton candy note. This is heavy on saffron. It has jasmine, amber gray, cedar, amber wood. Great ingredients, actually, but it doesn't last. And this one, Private Mask. Private Mask has Saffron, which is the top note here in Baccarat Rouge. This also has saffron as a top note, but it also has caramel and it also has cotton candy in the composition. So it's really, really similar. It's super concentrated, so a little bit goes a long way. What I do is I apply the tar oil in my pulse point, and of course I apply Baccarat on top of that and then all over but make sure you use like the applicator and it's just a tiny bit because it's really, really concentrated and try to massage this so your skin absorbs it completely. And then once it's completely absorbed, then you spray Baccarat on top and you're good to go. And then I'm here I'm looking forward to hearing from you because <laughs> this is a game changer. At least it was for me and I'll keep doing this. That's why I wanted to share it with you. So again, this is Private Mask by Swiss Arabian and Baccarat Rouge 540, another match made in heaven. Now, the last reason why you may want to layer is because you want to boost your favorite note. In this case, for example, I love Orange Blossom and I have two great Orange Blossom scents, which are Granada by Memo Paris and Safanade by Parfum du Marly. Now, both are Orange Blossom based, but Safanade, for example, it's more fruity. It has pear, it has orange, Aside from the orange blossom, it has orange, like the fruit itself. It also has sandalwood, it has vanilla, but it's very, very fruity. On the other hand, Granada, for example, it's more floral. I love I think I like this better. Granada is more floral. Of course, it has the orange blossom center stage, but it also is, as I said, it's more floral. You can smell white flowers here right up front. And this is woody which Stefanet is not. So what I found is that when you mix them, hmm, when you mix them, you have like the best of both worlds because you have 
orange blossom in both, you have vanilla in both, you have white flowers in both, but you have the woodiness that Granada gives and you have the fruits that Safanat provides to the Congo. So it's, as I said, it's, you have the best of both worlds. It's a match made in heaven. I absolutely love wearing this together. Um, I prefer Granada over Safanat. So this is one that I wear more on its own. And usually I wear Safanat combined with Granada. But both are gorgeous fragrances. Both are orange ones from the fragrances. And again, it's a perfect, perfect match made in heaven. So now, guys, when it comes I'm... to spraying on clothes, let me warn you, I'm gonna go against the grain here because a popular opinion is that you have to spray all over, right? I am not a big fan of doing that and I tell you why. The problem is that highly likely fragrances will stain your clothes. So if you're wearing like a silk blouse or even polyester or any other softer material, the fragrance will stain it for sure. Unless it's a very, very light fragrance, well, maybe it won't leave like a, a color stain, like a discoloration, but it will still leave like a halo, right? So I don't recommend to do that. First thing first, like unless you're wearing like a dark sweater or a thick wool winter coat, I will not recommend to spray on clothes to avoid stains first of all. The second reason why I would avoid spraying on clothes is that fragrance lingers. So if you're not gonna put that piece of clothing <laughs> in the washing machine the moment you get back home. The problem is that it will linger, the fragrance there will linger with the fragrance you will wear maybe two or three days after. Let's say on Saturday night, I'm wearing this sweater and on Tuesday, I'm putting this sweater on again. If I didn't put it in the washing machine on Saturday, the fragrance I wore on Saturday will will stay there, it's lingering, and it will clash, probably clash with the fragrance I will use on Tuesday. Because you're in this case, you're not being mindful of what you're layering. You are just wearing whatever you want that day. And if you didn't wash uh, the piece of clothing before, as I said, highly likely the notes will clash and it won't smell nice, okay? The third reason why I am not a big fan of, you know, spraying your clothes is that, <laughs> If you don't wash your clothes immediately, let's say you're wearing something that you don't wear pretty often, right? Let's say you it's something special you wear if once a month, let's say. Needless to say, if we are talking about seasons change, right? But let's say you have something for a month you don't wear that and you put it in your closet and after a month, I promise you, that piece of clothing won't smell perfume. It's, it would smell <sighs> gross. It will smell slightly animale. It will smell like you haven't showered in a month or something like that, honestly. I'm being blunt here, but it is true. So the key here is to avoid stains, just spray on dark colors if you want to do that. And second, you have to make sure you will wash that piece of clothing the moment you get back home. Otherwise, it will clash the next time you wear it. Needless to say, if you used to spray all over and you're gonna store your stuff for a season change, make sure you wash it before it will stay in your closet for three, four, maybe five months. So that's my tip. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I'm going against the grain, but I am. I like to be honest with you guys. And yeah, that's that's my point of view. And that's why I do not recommend to spray on your clothes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope I could give you some tips about you know, layering things. And remember always you have to moisturize the skin first. Try to use dry oils, as I said before. I think it works even better than body lotions. And yeah, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Let me know if you tried anything. Let me know if you're used to layer in other cultures layering it isn't even a thing. They have been layering forever. But here in the Western countries, it's something new. And yeah, as I said, I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Let me know what is your favorite combo. And I hope you enjoyed my video. If that is the case and you're new here, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. That way you will help me grow my channel. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.